Hey, y'all, many years ago, I was suffering with depression and suicide. All I was thinking about everything that went wrong in my life. I lost my job. I lost my marriage. I lost, lost my money. I lost my house. I lost my cars. So all I thought about was everything I lost. Proverbs taught me how to change my thoughts, change my thinking, and to speak life into the atmosphere and how powerful words are. That's how I understand that words are a spirit. So when you say, um, I can't do this, I can't go through this, those are spirits you are attracting to you. When you say, I'm depressed, I hate my life, those are spirits you are attracting to you. Y'all call it energy. I call them demons. That's what's coming on you. And that's what makes you so heavy and so despair and so discouraged. But speak life so that the angels can come around you and minister to you and pull you up out of that. So speak, I'm going to make it. Don't focus on what's going on so bad, though, so bad. Focus on how you're going to get out of it. Think on how you're going to get out of it. Because your thoughts are powerful. I was suicidal. I used to sleep with a knife under my pillow trying to decide how to kill me and my two kids at the same time. I used to wake up and was upset with God because I woke up. I used to pray at night that he would take my life and take me to heaven with him. Little did I know that that was not plan of God. Anybody suffering with depression and suicide thoughts, of course, seek medical help. But I sought Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. I was led to read that book and that book literally changed my life because I ate that word of God and I put it in my soul and I began to do what it said. It said, speak life and not death. Thoughts are so powerful that Jesus said, if you think of a woman, you already committed adultery. So whatever you think on, it would take you to that place. So I kept thinking about all my problems and how big my problems was. And because I kept thinking my problems were so big, it became a depression to me. Now I know how to flip that thought. And when I'm going through something bad, I think on something good. When I'm going through something bad, I think on something good. I change my thoughts because my thoughts and my mouth work together to get me out. So I love y'all.